New York, AP, it began with a news story, and then a tweet, and suddenly it seemed like everything had changed overnight. 2017 will forever be known as the year of the reckoning. Or, more precisely, the year of the beginning of the reckoning. Because at year's end, the phenomenon of powerful men being knocked off their perches by allegations of sexual misconduct in Hollywood, on morning television, in chic restaurant kitchens, in the U.S. Senate showed no signs of slowing. Each morning, we awoke to ask, who's next? To that question, we should also add, what next? Because as the year drew to a close, many were also wondering just how deep and lasting the change would prove, going forward. Was this, indeed, the cultural earthquake many have called it? Or was there a chance it might all eventually slip away? We can't be sure, says Gloria Steinem. But what I can be sure of is that this is the first time I've seen women being believed. And that, says the feminist author, is profoundly different. Whatever forces had been stirring under the surface, it all burst into the open with an October scoop in the New York Times, a story alleging shocking misconduct by Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein denies all allegations of non-consensual sex, but he has apologized for causing a lot of pain with the way I've behaved with colleagues in the past. Photo by Chris Pizzello slash Invision slash AP, file. The powerful producer's misbehavior had long been the subject of whispers, but it was actress Ashley Judd who finally gave a well-known name to the allegations, a crucial launching point for what followed. Her account of a hotel room encounter in which Weinstein asked her to give him a massage or watch him shower sounded familiar to many others, who were inspired in the ensuing days to come forward with their own allegations against Weinstein, from harassment to assault to rape. To date, some 80 women have come forward, Weinstein still denies all non-consensual sex. Me too, then came the tweet heard round the world. Alyssa Milano arrives at the 6th Biennial UNICEF Ball at the Beverly Wilshire Four Seasons Hotel on January 12, 2016 in Beverly Hills, California. Photo by Jordan Strauss slash Invision slash AP. If all the women who have been sexually harassed or assaulted wrote Me Too as a status, actress slash activist Alyssa Milano tweeted on October 15, we might give people a sense of the magnitude of the problem. Then she went to bed. I couldn't have been in bed more than eight hours because I'm a mom, Milano says now. When she awoke, tens of thousands had taken up the number Me Too hashtag, a phrase introduced 10 years ago by social activist Tarana Burke. Less than 10 days later, Milano tweeted that more than 1.7 million people in 85 countries had used the hashtag. The thing that was so surprising was the sheer magnitude and the quickness of how it happened, Milano says. But she feels conditions had been ripe for a good year. It began, she says, with the election of President Donald Trump, who had bragged openly about groping women. On top of that came some aggressive investigative reporting she cites Ronan Farrow in The New Yorker and the domino effect of women emboldening each other to come forward.